Hi everyone, it's Goldie from Crafts Happen. Um, you are looking at the chandelier in my craft room. <laughs> I'm still laughing about that. Um, yeah, I am doing this video handheld because it's easier to show the project that I did. I had a lovely lady contact me and she asked for an altered mason jar. She told me what she wanted and what she wanted to see and I put it together and shot her a couple of pictures and she absolutely loves it. So I figured I would film that before I packaged it up. So without further ado, here it is. Okay, so she asked specifically for a blue jar and voila, there's the blue jar don't like handheld sorry if I'm making anybody sick and yeah autofocus uh, is a bear for me okay so she wanted some burlap which I did right there we've got burlap and a little bit of lace so there is some hand crocheted lace I found that at Hobby Lobby and it comes on a roll for those of you who haven't seen it before and the little pearl trim um, that comes on a roll. It's Recollections. It's from Michaels. Those are Recollections flowers. And I did some chunky, chunky glitter and some stickles on those because she just wanted everything like relatively plain. She just, you know, she wanted a jar that she could put on her desk and um, use for like pencils, pens, her scissors, whatever. And something about eyelash trim, which <laughs> I gave her eyelash trim, and she likes it. And uh, I did these stick pins. Um, focus, focus, focus. Try not to focus. Come on, go. There we go. Those are Swarovski crystals with sterling silver um, spacer beads in between. And underneath here I did some it's crocheted lace comes on a roll Hobby Lobby and that is pearl trim from Hobby Lobby as well and I did it with the lid on and there we go lid on and it can actually the lid can actually come off but I did with the lid on and those are flat back pearls that are recollections and um, they actually come on the roll with a double line of pearls and I cut them in half so I mean if you're really careful you can just snip right between the roll and make two they go twice as far so and there's that and all I did was a spot of hot glue on the back of the burlap and because it comes right straight through it holds both pieces and I just pulled it really really tight to make it stay and lined up the lace and uh, got it all nice and trimmed and on there and um, yeah so there's that very simple but exactly what she asked for and she loves it and I guess for me that's all that matters so there you go everybody thanks for watching um, comments like if you like don't if you don't that's perfectly fine too and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching bye